Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade. If this is your first time ever clicking on one of my videos, thanks so much for stopping by. Every Wednesday here on my channel, we do a What I Eat Wednesday video, and that is what today is all about. It is going to be a full day of eating keto plus intermittent fasting. It is a beautiful day outside, which is why I'm doing this intro out here. And I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you're not already, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you don't miss any surprise uploads from me. And let's go ahead and get on into today's eating. So the very first thing that I'm going to be having today is this keto cinnamon pecan nut granola. I actually saw this on Motherhood and Marriages YouTube channel because she is also in the middle of a like she's doing super clean keto and she had this as like cereal and y'all when I tell you guys that looked so fire I was like you know what I've been missing cereal so I'm going to do this and a little bit of this unsweet vanilla silk almond milk which is like one gram of carbs per serving and this um keto nut granola i'll have it linked down below in my amazon store but for a third a cup of this you get six grams of carbs which isn't bad the time right now is 11 32 so i am breaking my fast a little late uh but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and get on started with the eating so this is my first time having this stuff but it just looks so good in her video that i had to get it for myself and try so i'm gonna measure it out with a third of a cup because I don't want to go too over. Um, don't want to go too over for sure. So I'm gonna do like a hefty one third of a cup in there. It's pretty good. Oh my God, it smells so delicious, you guys. So one cup is a serving on this. Am I the only one that does like a smell check on all milk? Like it doesn't even matter if it's not expired. Like I always do a smell check on pretty much all the beverages. Okay, let me adjust this. Okay, so she added hemp seed and chia seed to hers and I don't have that, so. Mm. The crunch is really good on this. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'm gonna chat with you guys for a sec. are you guys on tiktok i'm just watching a video i made so like i am so like fed up with tiktok just about so i have 53,000 followers but my page turned into like a baby led weaning page and like the negative nancy comments on there i think they're just starting to get to me and perhaps that's why like on my other social media platforms like god has said like you're not going to grow that fast because y'all the comments really do be having me in my feelings like it's so hard like putting yourself out there on like any platform and being vulnerable and showing things and yes like I'm not perfect I make mistakes like even in these like what I eat Wednesday videos like you know like you guys taught me some of the things that were like not good for keto you know like and I'm out here putting myself out here but I'm always learning like I am a human and so it's just funny because I just made this video like talking about oh I cannot do this anymore like reading the comments because they're just so I mean they're heavy but i don't know what do you guys think like i giving i get negative comments here and there on youtube and instagram but for like the most part you guys are like extremely nice and when you're correcting me on things like you go about it in a way that is so nice and kind but the people of tiktok oh girl they don't give a f okay like they will call you out and make you feel horrible like in the same like 50 character limit it's insane but anyways i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the format of these videos so i know that every single wednesday i do like just a full day of eating but i was wondering if you guys would be more interested in knowing like at least through the rest of my challenge that i'm at right now where i am trying to get down to my goal weight by the time i go to palm springs i wanted to know if you guys would be interested in me filming like 
a what I eat in a week keto for two reasons. One, I feel like they would give you a nice variety of things that I'm eating. They would definitely be a longer video, obviously. I try to keep these videos in between like 12 and 17 minutes on average. They're about 15 or more but I do try to keep them around that length. So obviously like a what I eat in a week would be a little bit of a longer video, um, but just to kind of give you guys like more of a variety. And then for two, me filming every single thing I'm eating over the course of a week would obviously hold me way more accountable, especially on days when I'm like at work and stuff like that. And I would have to figure out like a creative way to film. Like I'd probably just do a what's in my lunch bag kind of thing because there's no way that I can like bring my big camera and film because you know, I work in healthcare. So that's not cool. Um, or I could like film on my cell phone, but still it's kind of funny I just feel really weird about filming there But let me know what you guys think about that if I should just keep this like a what I eat Wednesday like a full single day and maybe just try to increase it like maybe instead of one what I eat Wednesday video like maybe do like another what I eat in a day video or if you guys would like to see a what I eat in a week video for like the next few weeks so drop those in a comments and that also reminds me this cereal was bomb by the way I don't want to forget that before I walk away but I have to show you guys my weight loss tracker and where I'm at because I realized that I have not done that since I started so let's go see all right so I try to film my weight or record my weight every like other day. So right now my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I weigh myself. You can see I started here um, when I started this on 7:29. I was 163.2, and the last time I weighed myself was yesterday, um, and I was 156.6. So that is a total weight loss of I'm gonna have it on the screen because I I don't have the exact number right now. Um, it's like a little over seven pounds or so so I'm really happy with that I feel good about it and yeah so I'm just gonna keep on going I weigh myself in tomorrow which is a Monday you guys won't be seeing this actually until Wednesday uh, so yeah it's just really confusing but I wanted to give you guys an update on my goal tracker I have lost the more than five pounds and I still have not gone to get myself a manicure or pedicure but I'm planning on doing that in the next like week or so I'm just kind of waiting um, things are still really shut down here in Washington State and although I gave myself these really awesome rewards I just don't feel comfortable like doing a lot of them right now with the way that things are and you know they're my, our governor here did like another restriction of things so yeah just to give you guys a quick update of where I'm at on the gold tracker this has just been really awesome for me to have and it's really helped keep me accountable all right so I've really been trying to drink a gallon of water a day but I am super behind it's 12 o'clock and the time right now is 3 p.m. and it has been that late since I've eaten anything Taylor just went and picked up some coffee so all I get is two espresso shots over coffee ice with sugar-free vanilla syrup and some water and I'm just gonna mix that with this premier protein and have a premier protein like coffee because um, it's three o'clock on a Sunday and I really need some help with that and then I just have a little side salad here because I have not eaten anything since that cereal this morning so I know super late um, but it's just got uh, spinach greens cucumber some red onion and then I'm gonna add some tomato in there and then then in my oven I have some of this low carb pizza and how I made this was all I, I took a mission low carb tortilla and I topped it well first I brushed it with olive oil and I baked it in the oven at 450 degrees for just a few minutes until it was toasty then I topped it with pizza sauce cheese and my toppings and I cut it into fours and that was like my little low carb pizza that I had and I just had two pieces left over so I'm gonna eat this with some blue cheese dressing and some of that the two little slices of leftover pizza it's like half of a tortilla so it's basically like nothing at all um, but I'm entering all this into my cart manager so I'll know exactly what I ate but I really need to get my fats in so I am going to drink my coffee add some blue cheese and maybe some avocado to the salad and try and like up my calories because I know I'm nowhere near I should be right now okay so here's my salad I just topped it with a little bit of cheese and um, a half a cup of the holy guacamole avocado um, a tablespoon and a half of the blue cheese dressing this is the lighthouse blue cheese that I have been using and I love it it's really tasty just got this at my local grocery store and then I've got my two slices of pizza here I just like to heat my pizza up in the oven like under broil because like they're tortillas right so they're not gonna be as crunchy as they once were so I like to heat them up just in the oven and then I got my coffee here in my little cute little Starbucks cup and shameless pug I make these so I will always have my Etsy shop listed down below if you guys want any custom cups or tumblers so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'll catch you guys at the next meal so I am hungry it's 
five o'clock right now. I'm actually gonna get ready to make dinner here in a sec, but I want a snack. So I'm gonna have a piece of this Tillamook sharp cheddar. Um, this is, these are just like slice, like the, the farm style thick cut slices. I love these. And I'm gonna have a handful of the Blue Diamond lightly salted almonds. Oh my gosh, the overcast or like the kickback from the light is like making it hard to focus. There you go. So a serving size is an ounce or about 28 nuts. I'm just gonna grab like a little handful because honestly like nuts get me in trouble. Like I will literally eat so much of them. Um, and an ounce really is not that much at all. Like I don't even, it is not 28 nuts. Like one ounce, there you go. So I don't even know, that is not 28 nuts though. So imagine if you were to like look at the back of this container. So measuring is always a nice thing. It just kind of helps you stay accountable. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this ounce of lightly salted almonds and a, a slice of this sharp cheddar. All right, you guys, it is 6.30 right now and I am getting ready to close out my eating window in about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna quick cook up something really quick here. We are going to do creamed spinach and shrimp and this recipe is super easy. I've got my shrimp uh, just defrosting there in the sink. This is a bag that I picked up, I think at Walmart or Safeway, I can't remember, um, but it's super simple. All you're gonna need is butter, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, and your seasonings. I'm using salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper, and then of course, spinach I'm gonna walk you through this really quickly it's so easy and quick you guys okay so I've got my butter here I just um, melted three tablespoons of butter in a cast iron skillet and I'm gonna go ahead and saute up these shrimps really quickly here and flip them and then I'm gonna remove them from the heat and then I'll show you what I do next So I'm sorry about the TV, you guys. My kids are watching TV. I'm here by myself. Um, Taylor had a church thing tonight. So I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of butter, two ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna break this cream cheese up into the pan. Try and get it to like spread out a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my seasoning. I'm just gonna like season to taste. I'm gonna add my heavy whipping cream and a little dash of water to like thin the sauce out. This is the cauliflower rice that I'm gonna use. This is just by Green Giant um, Cauliflower and Broccoli because this is what I have. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of serving in this bowl and I'm gonna microwave it to cook it. All right, y'all, so the time right now is 6.45 and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock this out. This was super quick, super easy, and it's gonna be really delicious. Okay, you guys, so the last thing that I'm going to eat, I'm just going to make a little blueberry cup because I really want some fruit right now. So I'm measuring out my blueberries. I'm gonna have 30 grams, it's four net carbs, and I'm going to do a little bit of this whipped topping on top. And I keep my blueberries in the freezer because I just enjoy them frozen. I just think they're really good that way. All right, so 32 grams, perfect. And then I'm going to reset it. About 10 grams, 10, 15 milliliters there. So I'm gonna add that to my carb manager app, which I am still using. And y'all, I am doing horribly today. I went ahead and added everything that I've eaten so far and I didn't hit my calories or my protein or my fat. Like I did not hit anything today. So not good. I like struggle with this. So if you struggle with hitting your calories, like, yeah, it's bad, especially when we work out like, so I got to try again tomorrow, but 
this is what I got. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish complete my day. Yay. Yes, I love Manager App, but I am not going to do a review right now. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you hit that little red subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.